in here is all you need, including the cup, to make a cup of awesome coffee wherever you go. You just need the coffee and hot water. Let's dig into it and have a look at what we got. Alrighty, so we've got the Aeropress Go here on the table. You can see it is a super compact unit. I mean, really guys, if you think about it and you're talking about coffee, your option are something like this, an instant that's in a small packet or just putting up with some random coffee you get at a coffee shop or an airport. This is the Aeropress Go. It's a really compact package. Um, it's got a nice silicon rubber top that keeps it all in. And let's tear into this really quickly, pull the lid off. And what you'll find normally, the filter holder, which is here, normally sort of kind of comes off with the lid so and this can hold a large number of filters you sort of just hold it by the edges and pull down on the tab to the front um, I think it holds about 10 filters plenty enough to last you quite a long time easily over a week you can wash filters and you can throw them away and you can also get a metal filter so you can kind of keep going it's quite economical and these filters do a really really good job of um, getting rid of the particles in your coffee so you get really smooth clean beautiful tasting coffee as it should be coming back to the unit itself so I'm going to turn it upside down and lift it up so this right there is actually a cup and it's no small thing it's pretty big it's a generous size it's pretty solid it's not squishy it's well finished and uh, yeah so you don't need uh, a cup you've got one so that's pretty cool so actually inside the Aeropress, you've got the necessary tools to make wonderful coffee. You've got the stirrer, and you've also got the measuring spoon here. And it's nice and small, compact, robust, strong plastic. Not really much more to say about that. Um, the stirrer is a little bit different. It's a bit funky, actually. So um, it opens up like this. But I've actually found that this stirrer is a bit too long um, for this. Now, I don't know if this is just my one or they're all like this. You put the filter paper there, you literally place it on here, twist it clockwise, it's locked in, it's not going to go anywhere. You take one scoop, pop it in there, and you're good to go. Now, um, you fill this up with water, there's lots of recipes online I'm not going to bore you with. So when you put this in, I've noticed if you just go straight down, it actually just touches the bottom. And um, if you look there, you know, it's just off. So my top tip for you guys, if you've got one of these, is to angle this to the corner and then just mix it ever so slightly gently like that. Bottom of this doesn't touch the bottom of this, the filter there, and it won't sort of damage anything for you. So it's a, a, a good little trick there. And obviously once you've done that, you let it sit, add some water and then plunge the coffee. So that would sit on there when you're pressing. And obviously you'd put the plunger in like so, press that down. And that's it really, it's as simple as that. So I think these are. this is definitely something for the person that goes outdoors, the office person that doesn't want to keep spending money at Starbucks and different coffee places. I mean, you're spending, I mean, in this country, at least five pounds. You're looking, what's that, seven bucks each time. And something like this is far more affordable. Within 10 cups of coffee, you've got your money back and you can keep brewing on the go, hence the name, Aeropress Go. And you've got everything you need except for coffee and hot water. So I'm literally just putting this back together, putting these inside here. I tend to do this like that. That way it stays in a nice place. You'll see there there's got like a little lip and that area is flat with the logo. Pop that on top, nests really nicely on top. And then finally you put on the silicon cap here, put your finger in the middle. It just helps locate the filter down and then ease the top just around the edges and it's done. Just to see the difference here, you've got the same sort of design, but the whole package here with a cup and filters is smaller than the actual overall size of, of this original Aeropress. And this makes great coffee, this makes great coffee, and it means no more of this stuff anymore that I have to suffer when I need a great cup of joe. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Take care.